Hey guys, in today's video I just want to show you how you can install and add trust badges onto your product page right below your add to cart button so that people are more likely to trust you um, and your products. They're going to trust the legitimacy of your offer and they're also going to feel more comfortable purchasing from you. So you're going to see higher conversions from doing this. Um, so there's two ways. The first one I'm going to show you is just through a free app on the Shopify app store. The second way is manually installing the code. Um, it's not really that hard. It's pretty simple, and I'll show you guys how to do both of those ways. The first way I'm going to show you is through the app. So we're just going to go to the app store here. Um, visit Shopify app. Now on the app store, you're just going to type in trust, and it's going to be the free trust badge by Hector. This one right here. Um, so we just click right here. Get that. Install the app. And I'll show you guys kind of how you can go in and edit this. So there's a few things you're going to want to change. Um, so right here, this is what's going to show up below your Add to Cart button. Now, something that I am going to change, well, actually, I already have this app, so that did change. You guys are going to see it's going to have about a, a sentence right here. Um, I don't remember what it says, but basically it's going to be a sentence in, um, in black. But what you guys can do is you'll select that area. Let me see here. So what you guys will do is also this discover part right here wasn't originally on it. It's because I already had this installed. I just uninstalled it to show you guys in the video. Um, so you guys, you won't have this little discover icon here. So what you'll do is you'll go down, you'll click on add badge and it'll give you an option to add all these things right here. And so I went and I clicked on discover right there to insert it. It's already been inserted. So I don't want to have that again. Um, so I'll just go and take that off. And now that's fine, just like that. Um, so what I did have to do, though, is I went to the de design settings. So right here, there was a, a, a sentence. I don't know, for example, I'll just type it out so you guys will see. This is where it was. Um, so for example, that's kind of what it looked like. So when you guys install this app for the first time, there's going to be a sentence right there. You, you don't want that to show up. It just looks kind of tacky. Um, but it does force you, you have to have something there. You can't just have nothing there. So what I do is I put a period there, but I select pitch right here. So you can still see the period right here. It's gonna, originally it's gonna be in black, all black. But what I did is I just put it in white. So you have a white background, so you won't actually even be able to see the period anymore. Um, but when you go into edit, you can see it's actually there. And then the badge right here, obviously you want those all black. So that's all good. You can change um, however big you want the icons to be, um, bigger, smaller, whatever. So they'll look just like that. Um, and then you'll save that. I just have OCD, so I save in both places. But yeah, so that's installed. So if we go look at the store right now, sometimes it takes a little bit to load. Um, but say if you go click on a product, then it should appear right below. So see right here, those are the trust badges that are installed with that app. Um, so that's just one example of something you guys can do. Um, so I'm going to close this out. So I'm going to actually go back to the app. I'm going to uninstall it real quick. I'm going to show you guys the other way you can do it real quick. Um, not needed anymore. So I'm just going to uninstall that app real quick. So the second way, and it's actually, I prefer it because I like having a different set of trust badges. Um, so you'll just go on to the store and you're actually going to end up editing the code. So if you go click on your online store, actually, I'll show you guys the, the first part. So you're going to go onto a Google page and then type trust badges, Shopify, go to Google images and I'll show you the one that I personally prefer in here. I can't see it. So I, I can't find the one that I just downloaded today. Um, but you guys can choose any really. If you just select one of these, you'll just click on it and click save image as and then you can save wherever. I already have the one saved. So you guys will save the image. Then you'll go back to Shopify. You'll go down to settings and onto your files. And then you will add a file. So you'll upload file and then you'll select wherever you had it saved. I've already uploaded mine, it's right here. So once you upload yours, it'll be right here. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to select it all, 
and copy and paste. So I just copied that URL. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the store and I'm going to go edit the code. Now you guys are probably, if you don't know a lot about code, which I don't know hardly anything about code at all, then you might be a little freaked out, but it's really pretty easy. So you'll just go edit code. Now you're going to go over here to the dot liquid templates. Um, actually go down to sections. So once you go down to sections, then you'll go down to product template. Click on that. Now you'll just do on Mac. I know it's command F. I think on uh, PC, I believe it's control F to search. And you'll just type in add to cart. Let me try without spacing. Add to cart. Okay, there it is. So yeah, don't do it with any spacing. Um, so when you find it right here, add to cart, I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that once you find it right there in the yellow, then you'll just kind of follow down until you see this last div bracket right here. So when you see this um, bracket right here with the backslash, so once you see this last one, so not this one, once you see this last one, and again, this might be different for you guys if you're using different themes. The theme I'm using is debut, like it says right here. So if you guys are using debut, it's going to be the same for you. So for the rest of you guys, it's going to be something pretty similar. But you'll just go to this second div right here, and I hit return twice, and then I do open bracket, IMG, src equals and then do quotation and now you're going to paste the URL for the file that you have saved from the Google images of the trust badges so I did it right there now make sure you guys put a closing um, quotation mark and then a closing bracket just like that now go down to make sure all the rest okay it's good so we'll save there. Now it's been saved. So now we'll go take a look at it to see if it's a little bit different. I click on a product, so there it is. So look how it shows up. So that's the one I use. And you guys can go find that on Google. It's pretty simple. But so see, this is just a little bit different than the other one that was just didn't have any color. I like this because it stands, it stands out a little bit more. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys, just the two different ways how you can install trust badges. Again, it just helps with your conversions. It helps people to trust more that they're going to not have any problems with their payments, that everything's going to go well. It just gives you more credibility. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.